Larage, I believe it's L-A-R-R-A-G, like in zebra. Yes. Born in Cuba and came to the United States at a very, very early age with his parents for political reasons. His parents were newspaper people and obviously when our friend Castro uh, came into power, the things that they were writing was, were not things that he wanted to be involved in, so they left. Luckily, they got out. They came to Miami, and they continued to write. They then moved to New York, where he, uh, the parents continued to write as well. Julio became very interested in not only writing, he does write, he paints as well, Everything that Julio does is political. Everything. There is not one. We have some paintings, not on view now, that he has done as well. Everything about them involves some form of exile, uh, problem, um, the people, the country, the government, etc. Uh, when the kids, of course, see this piece, they love it. It's Alice in Wonderland. It's just wonderful, and they think it's so cute. And, oh, look at the whole thing, and it's wobbly, and is it balanced? It's very firmly balanced. It's very firmly welded, and it is very firm on the table and cloth that they're just sitting on. It's all one piece. <coughs> and... I told you some clues. Think about Cuba. Think about political issues. What what are the cups used for? Why cups? Where are you putting cups? You can cuff. I love it. <laughs> That's exactly right. He is dealing with all of the impoverished, overworked, underpaid Cuban workers. And these, particularly, he is basically referring to the ones who work in the coffee fields. They work all day, they work all night, they work constantly for very little pay. And who sits on top of them? The big dictator. And that's that marvelous, wonderful black teapot, coffee pot that you sitting that you see sitting on top of these cups. So whimsical it looks to be, but very serious, very serious. And his work, as I said, is all like that. So that's Julio Lamas. Um, well, this is 